Hello Cardinals, good to be with you today. I want to share some art with you that I hope you will try on your own. The word I want to share with you is this word, assemblage. Have you heard that word before, assemblage? It just means a collection of things. Or some people may use it to mean a group of people. Well, in art, it means a collection of things the artist chooses and makes their art with these things. It's a real interesting process that I have really enjoyed in my life. I'd like to share with you some of my assemblages that I have made. Here's one. You may remember this <clears throat> from in the art room. I had a lot of things that reminded me of my old school days when I was young. So I put these things together and I glued them inside this box. This is actually a wooden box. And I glued them in and some of it is uh, words, papers, uh, little art pictures, just a uh, great variety of things. So that's one assemblage. I call that school spirit. This one <clears throat> is really in honor of my mom. There was a special time in her life when she went off to the University of Chicago. She had hardly been away from home when she went. It was a very big adventure for my mom. And I have a lot of items that belong to her and it reminded me of this time of her life that I had heard so much about, so many stories about. And so I had a great time putting these items together in an arrangement. Uh, you can see I have an old letter picture, uh, buttons and old jewelry, a few art supplies, just a little of everything. And this was so special for me to make in honor of my mom. Uh, let's see, I'll show you, I'll show you one more uh, assemblage. This one I just made earlier today but the glue is already dry, <clears throat> so I can lift it up. And it's actually made on a little tray. And I've made, I've just collected, again, some random little things that I have had. And I put them together. And I was sort of thinking about this time of our life, this uh, sheltering in place time we've been in. And so, these things all remind me in some way of this time. So I put them together, glued them down. Now, when you do your assemblage, it's going to be a very interesting process. The materials are going to be up to you. Uh, when you begin, you're going to want to find something sturdy to glue your items to. I used uh, some boxes, or you can use like a box lid of a shoe box, even just a sturdy piece of cardboard, but probably not just a piece of paper. That's not going to be strong enough. It needs to be a strong base. Uh, you're going to need some glue. Usually Elmer's is all you need. I will share with you, this is another one of my favorite kinds of glue. It's called Weld Bond. I like it a lot. It's very strong. Um, and then this is the most important. You got to figure out what to put in your assemblage. You need some interesting things. What do you want to put in your assemblage? You'll choose that. That'll be the artistic choices that you'll be making. Your process is mostly arranging your things, your items. You're the artist, so you will place them where you want them to be. This could be a fast process or it could be a slow process. Uh, and you're going to need to have patience and let this dry 
because some of your items might be um, a little bit heavier. Like you remember seeing some of the items I chose. Um, they're three-dimensional items. And so they needed time to dry. This is a little elephant. This is actually metal. So it needed um, a, good, a good amount of time to dry. Um, so it's surprising how many ways you can arrange items. This is the fun part of making assemblage. You get to do all that arranging, composing, and deciding. So I hope you will try this project, making an assemblage. You can give your assemblage a title. You might arrange, you might choose items around a theme or a main idea. Um, or you might just have a random collection of items. That's okay, too. Um, I've got a box of just all kinds of random items. Magazine pictures, pieces of wood. Here's an old belt buckle. And um, here's some old jewelry. Anyway, that could become an assemblage. But for you, it's going to be whatever you have on hand that you want to choose and arrange and assemble into your very own creative assemblage art. I hope you enjoy that process and I want to wish you a very good day and give you two thumbs up today and love and miss you and we'll talk to you soon and have a great day. Bye bye.